a lot of you on my or who became a fan of my page on Facebook already know this because I've told everybody and um, a couple other people on my channel have guessed it and stuff but yes I am trying to sell my Lexus at the moment um, I've been driving my grandfather's car which here it is I'll go ahead and insert the clip now in the meantime I'm driving my grandfather's 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis LS Ultimate Edition do a quick start up on it came back up to school this past weekend to see if I'll um, leave it at the dealership and see if I can get any people to be interested in it and there's a couple and um, still trying to wait and see stuff like that but um, what I plan on getting if I um, if I sell the Lexus and if everything works out knock on wood like they should I plan on um, really highly checking into getting the 2011 Ford Mustang 5.0 um, I've been following that car for a good, good couple months now, and um, I'm extremely, absolutely impressed with it. It is an absolutely fantastic machine. 412 horsepower, 390 pound-feet of torque with a new 6-speed transmission. I would get the 6-speed um, manual personally, and um, I don't know. I've driven big family luxury cars and stuff like that since I've had my license except that Saab which that doesn't really count because it was way back in the day before I had my license but um yeah I I wanted to I, I want to let loose I'm I'm tired of being quote unquote boring <laughs> even though I, I love my Lexus I really do but um there just comes a time where um apparently I'm aging in reverse my dream car used to be a Lincoln Town car which kinda still is that, that Grand Marquis is pretty ballin' in my opinion, <laughs> but um, I, that Mustang is absolutely awesome. I've driven a Challenger, um, I plan on driving the Camaro to give it a fair comparison, but I have looked at all three of them. The Mustang has far superior build quality and material quality than both the Camaro, or definitely more than the Camaro. The Challenger is pretty good. I'm, I'm definitely going to give it that. The Challenger and Camaro have a lot less exhaust sound than I think a muscle car it should be appropriate for a muscle car. The Mustang, the Mustang 4.6, the 2010, I have looked at that. Just, just that one had the most amazing roaring exhaust. It was, it was just awesome. It had the, you know, the very unique Mustang sound. And um, I, I can go on and on and on about this, but there's starting to be video reviews and stuff on YouTube. And um, there's starting to get some information out on the internet. I think it'll be out the first part of the summer. Um, Ford hasn't released it on the website yet, but um, check out Car and Driver, Motor Trend, and stuff like that. They've already done reviews on it and stuff. So that's the plan. I'll let you all know what happens and stuff like that. And. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on that. I also wanted to make mention too, one of my really good friends from back in my old school, um, his username is CrazyK86CU, has decided to start becoming a lot more active in YouTube and stuff, and I've been helping him along, trying to get him, get his channel started and stuff. He's definitely got some pretty awesome videos and some videos from back when I was at Campbell and stuff. Um, definitely subscribe to him. I think y'all will really like his videos. His channel is the very first one in the um, My Favorite Channels box on my page. 
Uh, he's he does a lot of modifications to his Mazda 3, and he's got some a bunch of how-to videos, prank videos, a little bit of um, how-to weaponry videos, and some really really funny ricer cops and ricer citation videos. We got a couple on there. Also base tests, stereo demos. Pretty much a really good mix of videos, especially the most epic prank we ever did right here. What happens when your roommate goes home on the weekend? Everybody check that out. That is effing hilarious. <laughs> that was probably one of the first things we all did together at Campbell first year. So, a lot of memories. But, um, yeah, I think you all really enjoy his channel. So be sure to check it out sometime and subscribe to him. One thing else that I wanted to mention, too, um, this is actually one of the reasons why I'm making this video. Um, every, a lot of people really enjoyed that Grandfather Mountain video that I made with my family. And um, although I don't plan on doing a whole lot of personal videos like that, I do have one, maybe two other things that I'm going to upload. One, definitely. A lot of people have been wanting to see the kind of stuff we do in pharmacy school. So, we actually have a video project that we had to do like group work and stuff the past this during this whole semester we've been planning it and we've been shooting it the past couple days it's um, how to properly dispose of different medications and stuff it's probably going to be about eight to ten minutes long i would say but it's hilarious it is really really awesome i think you guys are going to really enjoy it and um when we after we present it to our class i'm going to upload it to the site so um be sure to be on the lookout. It'll probably be a good two weeks or so before it's on, I, I, would, I would guess. But um, be on the lookout for that. Like I said, I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy that. It's pretty awesome. A lot, of, a lot of good effort has gone into that. I also wanted to give you all a little, quick little tour on the um, new YouTube. Just so everybody knows how to work everything right. Of course. I love this new layout I got. That's actually the um, silhouette from an Infinity that I found. I tried to make one myself, but I couldn't just I, could, I just couldn't do it the same. I don't exactly know what model it came from, but um, anyway, with the new YouTube layout, this is all the same pretty much, except that obviously the rating system is gone. I love this system just for the fact that if somebody wants to be a jerk and rate your video one star it won't affect the stars it won't bring it down from a five to a three or somebody rate it one it starts off at a one and it takes forever if it if it ends up getting five stars it ends up taking a while to get the um ratings balanced out so like for this one i can click on it like it and see my ratings and stuff 66 people like this video <laughs> one person dislikes it i think this is a very much more accurate rating system because i mean if you subscribe to my channel you like my videos at least i would hope you would like them and um this shows that well you do like them um versus the people who don't like them which the rating system you can't really tell you can just tell by five stars and i don't know I just like this a whole lot better. I think it's a lot cleaner, simpler. Um, comments that I've responded to respond, show up in the top portion of the comments, and then it goes uh, most recent comments down. Everything else is pretty much the same over here. Um, related videos, my videos, stuff like that. The thing that I like the best, oh, besides this, you can see my insights. I think, um, yeah, I guess it's on private so you all can see this too. Information. The way the ads work and everything is the same way. Like, um, for clicks and stuff, it's still just click on the ad. It um, works the exact same way as it did before. This up here, my banner is a little bit smaller. It'll take you directly to the channel. If we go back, you can subscribe right here. The button's up at the top. And if you want to check out my videos, 
while the video is playing, you can see my most recent videos, four pages of them. So, people don't have to go all the way to the channel and search through all the videos and stuff to see if they even like it. They can be watching my video and see this right in the middle of it. One thing I always want to mention too in every update video that I make is um, the thing about personal messaging and channel comments and other comments on videos and stuff like that. Um, I'm going through a really, really busy time. We're winding it down with school this year and I have just about exams and quizzes almost every day it seems. So um, don't don't take it personally if I don't respond to your comments on my channel or personal messages. I do read them all. It's just um, by the time I'm finished reading everything, I don't have time to really respond to everything. It's just been really, really busy lately with school and trying to wind things down for the year and stuff. And I'm pretty much working two jobs now with um, my YouTube end, and I'm starting a job at CVS Pharmacy. I've been doing a whole lot of training and stuff the past couple of weeks and trying I've never really had a formal job like this before so I'm trying to get acclimated with my schedule and how everything works for me so um, it's 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 taken a little bit of adjustment and stuff and um, I haven't been getting a whole lot of sleep lately just because we've had so much school work and all that to do um, but I'm still trying my best, so like I said, don't take it personally if I don't get back to the messages or comments. I do read them. If you have any requests, I do read them, and I take them to heart and stuff like that. Um, aside from that, um, as of now, I don't... In regards to um, <clears throat> like requests and stuff... A lot of people, I guess the like newer subscribers and stuff, um, I can only do the stuff that's kind of given to me. Like at the dealerships that I go to and stuff, if it's there, then I'll be able to do it. But as far as being able to drive all over the place and stuff like that, like I, I just I don't have time for, to do that anymore. During the summer, I'll be going to the auction and stuff, so there'll be plenty of time for stuff like that. But right now, it's, it's just a bad time to be um, requesting really anything right now and especially test drives um, it's it's getting a little a little crazy not not crazy but like for requests for test drives I can only 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 do videos test drive videos of cars at our dealership not Brandon Reeves or any other of the places like that so um, it's best just to not I mean I don't want to say it's just best to not ask but um, I, I don't have the resources to be able to do that, and dealers aren't just going to let you do that. Uh, I mean, honestly. I'm pretty thankful for what I've been given. Um, I got some pretty awesome opportunities and stuff like that. Like, I got a really good relationship with Brandon Rees right now, and um, it's a very large basis for my videos and stuff, as you already noticed, and a couple of the other little ones. So, um... All I can do is what I can do. Um, just like I said before, I'm just trying to do my best for you all and um, what I got time for. And I'll be having a whole lot more once summer starts coming around. But I'm just doing like bare minimum right now, just till things blow over a little bit. For anybody wanting to find any anything else out about the new 2011 Ford Mustang, I have favorited almost every video about it. I know the camera's kind of blurry, but just scroll down through this and you'll see so many things on it. Pretty well, couple. Find out all, all you want to know about it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the update video. I got one last housekeeping detail, I guess. So far I have 613 videos, 2,679 subscribers, 3,121,000 upload views and 204,000 channel views. Pretty awesome. AdSense has been paying really nicely lately too. That much more motivation to go out and try to make the best videos I can. So, hope everybody has a good weekend. Hope everybody had a great Easter last the other weekend too. I know a couple of people were commenting me and I couldn't respond back. But um like I said, take care guys. I have a lot more where that came from.